Topic selection is the next big hurdle of the Momodak Wiki. The earlier you select your project, the more time you'll have to think about how organic chemistry applies to its mechanism of action. You've seen a few examples already of how to use the impressive selection of databases on the Wiki to find information about a particular compound or class of compounds. But how do you decide what to type in those search boxes to begin with? Your Molodak topic should be something that touches you on a deep level for a number of reasons. Primarily, the more you can relate to your topic, the more motivated you'll be to learn about it. Imagine you had to defend the importance of, for instance, a drug that was facing market removal. Every bit of evidence you could gather about the drug's beneficial effects would aid your case. You should approach determining and learning about your Momodak topic with the same ferocity. Realize that choosing a topic that you're passionate about will pay off both in the short term in terms of your grade and in the long term in terms of your ability to seek out and integrate new information. Once you decide what to type in that search box, the next step is to claim it, and you can do that by using the primary literature collection, which is listed here under the main pages in the left-hand sidebar. So this page contains all kinds of links to a variety of papers on a variety of topics. And if your topic is based on one of these papers, then all you need to do to claim it is to make sure that A, the interested team column is blank, and B, that you add your team name to that interested team column. And so each row contains one last cell that is empty. And if you want to make a claim on a particular paper, just type your team name into that column and click Save. And now we can see that I've claimed this paper on the biosynthesis of cholesterol and other sterols. If your key literature reference is not listed here, then the thing to do is to add another row to this table, which you can do by coming down to the very bottom and adding four vertical bars just before the table plus closing tag there. So four vertical bars creates three table cells, and in the first cell you'll want to provide a link to the paper, which you can do by placing the URL between square brackets. Just look to the above entries for some guidelines on the formatting a link to the corresponding author's email that starts with mail to and then finally your team name to illustrate your interest in this particular paper. A single paper may inspire several different topic ideas and so the next step is to use the database resources to narrow things down and look for topics that are particularly rich in information that you can convey on your Momodak page. If you click the database resources link you'll see a large list of database resources that you can use to search for information about your topic. We'll talk about these in more detail in a future lesson, but keep your mind open as you navigate the databases looking for information about your potential topics. Look for structural files, interesting studies, and other information that will allow you to build a case describing the mechanism of action of the compound of interest based on evidence that's provided in the literature. If there's not much literature out there, abandon the topic and look to something else. On the other hand, if something is rich in structural and mechanistic information, that's a good topic for future considerations. So we'll talk about that in more detail in the future, but for now you'll want to use the database resources to definitely narrow down and throw away topics that are not rich enough in known information to serve as good Molodak topics. And of course, course instructors can help you pinpoint those topics that are rich enough in information to be useful.